PayPal will begin trading as a standalone company on the Nasdaq after being spun off from eBay on Friday. In September, eBay announced the spin-off because PayPal is its fastest growing unit. PayPal will trade under PYPL, the same symbol it had before being acquired by eBay back in 2002. All eyes are on earnings this week to see if IBM, Microsoft and Apple can lead on from where Google and Netflix left off. Google added a record $60 billion to its stock on Friday, the biggest one-day gain ever for a US company. IBM will announce their Q2 earnings on Monday. The company is down more than 10% in the last 12 months compared with an 8.6% gain in the S&P 500 over the same period. But more promising fortunes from Asia. On Monday, Huawei, the telecom equipment maker, reported a 30% increase in first half revenue to 175.9 billion yuan, that's 28.3 billion US dollars, with an operating margin of 18%. The Shenzhen based company, largely tipped to produce Google's 2015 Nexus smartphone, says it expects what it calls effective growth in 2050. But the big day is Tuesday when Apple, Microsoft, and Yahoo all report their earnings. Microsoft releases results just a week after it announced more than 7,800 layoffs and a $7.6 billion write-down of its Nokia handset division. As for Apple, this is the first time they report their watch sales and they will be carefully well watched. New tablets from Samsung on Sunday. The tablets come in 9.7 inch and an iPad competing 8 inch model and are set for launch in August. They also have a 4 by 3 aspect ratio like the iPad and metal construction similar to the overhaul Samsung did for its S6 and S6 Edge lineup. The tabs are a refresh from the company's 2014 models, however this year Samsung's made the decision to drop its monster 10 and a half inch variant. This day on July 20, 1969, the Apollo 11 lunar module nicknamed Eagle successfully landed on the moon. The landing prompted Neil Armstrong's now infamous phrases, the Eagle has landed, and That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. And potentially bad news if you're one of the 37 million users of online casual sex and cheating network Ashley Madison. After reports from security researchers the service had been hacked, last night Noel Bitterman, the CEO of Ashley Madison's parent company Avid Life Media, more or less confirmed the hack, saying, we're not denying this happened. He went on to describe the alleged hack as a criminal attack. So that's it for this first edition of The Edge. In case you missed it, we leave you with some pics from Friday of the very first FAA-approved drone delivery in which a UAV successfully delivered medical supplies to a health clinic in rural southwest Virginia.